Hey everybody, in this video we are going to discuss an error message that may pop up on your touchscreen that says that your voltage is too high or too low for the tube. And it's very easy to test. Uh, you are going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a multimeter uh, so that we can test the voltage coming out of our 48 volt power supply. This is feeding our tube uh, and the fans energy, uh, electricity to, to drive everything. Uh, so let's come in closer and take a look at our power supply, our multimeter, and the pot switch on this power supply where we can control the amount of voltage going to the tube. Um, again, covering an, an error message uh, from the tube and from the fan board that says voltage is too high or voltage is too low for running the machine. Let's take a look. Okay, so a real quick run through of what we're looking at here. We have our, up front, we have our 36 volt power supply. Behind it, we have our 48 volt power supply. The 48 volt power supply is running our fans and our, our tube. And uh, once the machine recognizes that there is a drop in voltage, it will warn you. So what we're gonna have to do with a multimeter is test to see what type of voltage we're getting. Uh, it should be nominally right around 48 volts, uh, not much lower, not much higher. It can fluctuate a little bit depending on your um, incoming source. But we will have to test our positive, which is our red, and our negative leads to see how much voltage we're getting out. Your multimeter, it needs to have a DC reading. Mine is auto sensing, so as long as I'm on voltage, I can test this 48 volts and it should automatically um, calibrate itself and show the correct voltage. Now you'll just have to turn it to a DC voltage, not AC voltage if you are testing this uh, with a different kind of meter and we have some instructions on our, uh, in our knowledge base to help you with that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, set this phone up so that we can see um, the adjustments being made and the testing. But right now, one of the first things we wanna look at is, is our green light on? Do we have power? And then note right there, we have a little white pot switch. And this is what you're going to need your Phillips head screwdriver. We are going to turn that to adjust the voltage. If it's too high, we're going to ramp it up a little bit, or sorry, ramp it down a little bit. And if it's too low, then we'll ramp it up. And I'll show you how to do that in a second when I can secure this and not have to hold it and do all that at the same time. Okay, so looking at our 48 volt power supply, we do have a black negative wire. And I'm gonna take my black uh, lead from my multimeter and I'm going to kind of just try to probe it in here. And there's a separator in between the screws and the terminals. Uh, from each one, which is, which is really great. It kind of separates everything from you, know, you accidentally touching multiple things. I'm going to take my red, oops, and also stick it in here. And if we get it in there correctly, we should be able to wedge our probe in between the screw and those separators. And it'll stay there so that we can test. Okay, and if you have to hold one and then have one secured, that's great as well. Now, as we can see with both of those probes in there, that I am reading 48.3 volts. Now, if we come into a situation where you have less than that, uh, this pot switch, which requires a Phillips head screwdriver, while you're watching this meter, you can turn that pot switch counterclockwise and it will lower your voltage. Now we don't want to go too low and we don't want to go too high. The fan board and the systems in, uh, in place are looking for 48 volts. Uh, so somewhere in between 47.5 and maybe 49 is where we want to be. If I turn it clockwise, it's going to bring the voltage back up. Now again, don't get carried away. This, these are small micro adjustments. I'm gonna keep mine at 48.5 for any fluctuations. 
and there we have it. So once we have this metered and it checks out, maybe we're a little out of tolerance, we can adjust and compensate for any errors. We'll reboot the machine and test again. If we are not getting 48 volts, then we have an issue with our 48 volt power supply. At that point, you would just continue to work with us in the ticket system so that we can get you a new one or do a little bit more research going forward. Um, and that really covers it. As far as the 48 volt power supply and adjusting your DC current going to the tube, that's how we do it. Um, one thing I do want to note is if you are having difficulty, there is a little clear plastic cover here. Um, I recommend trying to do everything with that on, but if you're having difficulty, you can uh, remove that cover, access the Phillips head screws that hold these positive and negative terminals, and use the, uh, the, that screw to hold your probes in. Other than that, very straightforward. Um, all of this stuff is kind of simple to work on once you wrap, around, wrap your head around doing something new that you've never tried before. But hopefully this solved your problem quickly. If not, then we will get you taken care of in the tickets. Appreciate you watching.